Why did I get back in the water? When I had been bitten by the exact same shark, and type of shark before that, and before that, and before that, in exactly the same spot in the surf. When Bruce brushes up against my leg for the first time, or the hundredth time, the orchestra from just beyond the fourth wall plays a familiar minor second. Easy and subtle at first, barely heard, but um, like the gentle finger of a temperate lover on the tippity tip of my clit. But um, the audience thinks they see movement in the current. But um, it speeds up as my legs kick, 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 putting out the mating call of treading water, as if unconsciously saying, Here, Brucey, Brucey, Bruce, as if I like to be abused or something. It's comfortable, the danger, death, destruction, only one wrong, move away. The speeding up of my heart feeling like passion instead of the fear of the prey that knows it's about to be dinner. But um, but um, but um, a thin cuts through the waves. But um, but um, but um, swim, you idiot, get out of there, the peanut gallery screams as I jerk around as if hearing them just in time to see big white jagged teeth but um but um but um when I when I I make it back to shore survive another round my scars once healed over will be the subject of tales of triumph though they cannot be seen by the naked eye. They live on the inside, in my soul and joints, muscles, nerves, and bones, the pain of a body that has never stopped swimming, is afraid to, can't even get in the bath without some trepidation and will never put on a life vest again. Sometimes that shark, he looks right into you right into your eyes. You know, the thing about a shark, he's got lifeless eyes, black eyes, like a doll's eye. When he comes at you, it doesn't seem to be living until he bites you. And those black eyes roll over white.